president of MPP N. Subhakiran expelled from primary membership of party for good. And some officials suspected of misappropriating revenue in forest department. Welcome to ISTV News. Now the news in detail. Chief Minister N. Biren today inaugurated the five-day Siri Lili Festival on Vangaya ground at Siri village at Ukro. Minister of Mahut Tej Sham Kumar, Minister of PHED L. Diko, Parliamentary Secretaries, Secretary of NSC Ram Uiva, and many other top-ranking officers and village chiefs of different villages also attended the inaugural function. Moreover, many people coming from different parts of the state, particularly from the valley areas, took part in the festival. As part of the program, many villagers, organizations and women organizations submitted memorandum to the Chief Minister N. Biren. Speaking on the occasion, Forest and Environment Minister T. S. Sham Kumar said, The festival will tighten the bond of love between the hills and valley. Ukrol is a nice place. Therefore, from his side, all necessary steps will be taken up in order to protect and preserve the environment in the district. Addressing the gathering, Chief Minister N. Biren said state flowers, Siri Lily and state bird knowing are reportedly endangered and it may be vanished if we do not preserve and protect them timely. The state government will take up all necessary steps to preserve and protect them at any cost. He further said the festival will be celebrated in a big way from next year. Many eminent persons from outside state and many tourists and foreigners will be invited for the festival. The festival will make the bond of love between the hills and valley more cemented, he hoped. On the other hand, Kankui Cave in Ukrul district will be developed as a tourist spot by spending more than 5 crores under the NLCPR scheme. The necessary DPR will be submitted to the concerned ministry soon, Chief Minister N. Biren added. <laughs> Matandugi historically, poor mothers who had under old Maxo Massidi solved Tamu, Tamu, the German, she never married here, but the Matan Pussy. Similarly, and the Kaina Krabber, Lapo Krabber, Lamna and the Baba, sing his in love sing, Tamu sing, Naga sing, Kukis, Kramaka, and the Marisi, easy get enough. Amukam Sangha, Haja Sigan, Luna Sigan, and Tirgalapo. Long three was it. Makan Makaka, the organization in Katana, NGO, civil society, the organization, Singh is announced in the Punma Pampas. As part of the festival, many cultural items of different communities were presented during the function. President of Manipur Tourism Radha Krishna flagged off a cycle rally in connection with Suri Lili Festival from Imphal to Ukrul. The cycle rally was flagged off from ISBT Gate No. 1 of Kuman Lampak with altogether 22 participants. The Manipur People's Party MPP has permanently expelled its party president and Subhakiran from the primary membership of the party. The Central Committee of MPP has elected former Vice President Administration O. Jugindro as the interim president of the party. Addressing a press conference held at the President's Chamber of the Party Office at Kangjebung, O. Jugindro said, Ex-President N. Suvakiran was expelled by the Central Committee of the party as a disciplinary action against misappropriation of party fund. Newly elected working President M. Amutombi and Advocate Sarat Maimom also attended the press conference. And Sovakiran misused about 50 lakh from party fund during the last elections, O. Jugindra Mintin. Besides a detailed investigation into the records of votes received by the party candidates, it has been ascertained that N. Sovakiran had not been working for the development of the party. There is enough evidence that he and his family cast vote for another candidate while he himself was one of the party candidates. Therefore, the ex-president was expelled as per Article 25 Clause number two of the party. An emergency meeting of the Central Committee was convened today after the committee members learned that the ex-president was making efforts to postpone the meeting while the working committee of the party had already resolved 
to hold the meeting. The Central Committee held today elected the interim president and two others as working president. The interim president also resolved to hold election for the presidency within six months. Masigi Central Committee, Nimi Pamna, Mabu, Polinai members, Pigitan Tokuni. Amtang Anova, Wakalo, Manda, Manipur Sekam, Haina Kandagi, Haina, among the elements in the Wilma Domadugi, Kudum, Ilaga, Kuito, she have you Wakalonda, Masize, a Kuili president, Sobakran Sequina, Mot Amato in Mabu Tobani. The revenue collected in the Department of Forests is recorded less than expected. Some officials are suspected of misappropriating portion of the money collected as revenue. Some of the top ranking officials are also suspected to be involved in it. According to reports received by the ISTV News, a huge portion of the amount of money collected from betel nuts transported from Myanmar to Imphal and other parts of the country is not deposited with the department. It is further reported that at least 10 trucks cross the transit point and the tax collected through transit pass goes into the pockets of some officials. According to the rules and regulations, such trucks need to pay up to 3 lakh and 10,000 rupees as tax depending upon the route and destination of transportation. As such, a huge amount of money is being misused by some officials. It may be pointed out that betel nut is not the only forest products being transported, but it is just one of the many other products. Therefore, the amount of money being misused every day is huge. One of the officials of the department said the objective of collecting 100 crore rupees as annual revenue set by Forest Minister T. S. Sham Kumar can be achieved only when the set irregularities are corrected. Speaker Y. Kem Chan has assured that efforts will be met to ensure that the Manipuri people in Assam can still continue to learn Manipuri in schools and colleges. He was speaking at the 15th Foundation Day observance of Ethno Heritage Council, Herikon, held at GM Hall in Imphal today. The 8th edition of Khangmin Nasi Iramdam Manipur was also held as part of the observance. President of Herikon, Longjam Ratan Kumar, and President of Sahitya Parishad Assam, Karam Ibohal, also attended the observance. As part of the observance, the managing committee presented a special gift to renowned Manipuri folk artist, Manka Mayanglambam in her honor on the occasion. Karam Ibohal opined his views regarding the difficulties of the Manipuri settled outside state in terms of learning the language and facing the challenges of new changes being seen with the change of time. Speaker Y. Kim Chan further said, India cannot be called developed unless the northeastern region is also developed. If the people of a state want to develop the place, the people of all the communities living in the state should jointly focus on development processes. Harikon's effort in trying to preserve and promote the culture and tradition of the state is praiseworthy, he said. <laughs> President of Harikon L. Ratan Kumar said it is every individual's duty to bring development in a society. But such will be brought about only after the state government's involvement. Therefore, it is the need of the hour for the government to look into the matter. Prevention of influx in order to save a small community and to maintain the population is another way to achieve such in bringing development. The effort of imparting knowledge about the culture and tradition to the new generation is a good step to save the image of a society, he added. <laughs>
to the news of selling phones for issuance of Aadhaar cards was broadcast at ISTV News a couple of days back. The practitioners have stopped selling the phones at least at GM Hall. However, Aadhaar phones are still being sold at mobile stations set up in and around Imphal City. Some of the people who came to apply for Aadhaar cards said the phones are still being sold but not openly this time. According to some officials, the forms can be downloaded from internet that needs to be filled out and submitted to them so that officials can refer to the form for necessary details about the applicant. On the other hand, some applicants wanted to know how a person who doesn't know to read or write would download the form from web for the matter. Many expressed a desire for the authority concerned to look into the matter. Regional Director of ICNO Arunachal Pradesh Dr. Joseph Kupa was found dead inside room number 214 of Hotel Tamfayat North AOC around 9.30 last night. Dr. Joseph is the son of A. David of Maram Senapati. He had been staying at the hotel since May 12 last. He was found dead when staffs of the hotel checked the room as the door was left open in the night. Police has registered a case on the incident. People of Kampopi are facing immense difficulties due to the insufficient departments in the newly created Kampopi district. The United Welfare Committee appealed to set up the required departments at the earliest. Speaking to media persons at a press meet held at Manipur Press Club, President of the organization Nekodang Kipgen expressed happiness over the creation of a full-fledged Kampopi district after the long struggle by the people. He appealed to the government to establish the required departments to stop the difficulties of the people, he added. Economic blockage is not going to be able to do it. We need to be able to support the people. We need to be able to support the people. We need to be able to support the people. We need to be able to support the people. We need to be able to support the people. We need to be able to support the people. We need to be able to support the people. Lai ribu sih kanano, kat bai ribu sih kanano, madu ikhoy ni kaya nanti doa kau. Masih payah nak ikhoy supply tu orang. Ikhoy sih mian ribu sih sak sa ada dihing dalam ni nak kau. Masih ikhoy nak supply sih ikhoy nak tu kau tu orang ni. The five suspected persons in the Paknung gang rape case have been produced before the Juvenile Justice Board. Infall is for the third time. Soon after hearing the news, Core Committee Against Paknung Gang Rape Team protested in front of the observation home at Takiel. The protesters demanded to reveal the original age of the rapists and ossification tests of the five rapists should be obtained. Many placards written, We Want Justice, were displayed during the protest. Co-convener of the Core Committee Against Paknung Gang Rape, Helen said, The delay in revealing the age is condemnable. He appealed to the authority concerned to obtain ossification case of the five rapists and give befitting punishments to them according to law of land. Delay to udana, sumay na lay thing thing da handa si ekoy yam nungay te. Ekoy na to udana ba di ekoy na anangi right to with all respect to zay adubo. Ekoy na anang singdu ahan o yung nangay hot na hot na view hay ba sunate. Ado jadi kontroversial, oleh bang argumen leh naba port oleh na thokla kerabani na scientifically proof tau bio ossification tesi ado gini, ado nam masih gini port si da kok tau thok raga kano prosesi hinder tau 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 bi da without delay further delay asih tau bio hai besi koi na appeal tau zaman ni. Mapitel Dam downstream affected people expressed a desire to form an expert team to investigate Mapitel Dam at the earliest. Speaking to media persons at Manipur Press Club, chairperson of the organization Y. Toiba said, There are no errors on the side of the state government, but the engineers are responsible for the damage at the dam. People have to complain frequently to the state government due to the errors committed by the engineers concerned. Secretary of Tumukong Awang Lekai Merapai Bilok S. Tumati said, Fear psychosis has been raised in the minds of the people due to the ongoing leakage of water from the dam. The business of collecting stones and sands to earn their daily wages has been stopped completely due to the construction of the dam. She appealed to the state government to give away for their livelihood. <laughs> Kai riba dam do, 
ตัวกุมบะเดกิเฮตอกตะนะฮอบจิมะคนมาเซ็งทิงอําดะยูระกะเลยนี่บะอะคอยกิมะเปทิลดานเซดานซิกิมะคงดะอะคอยขุนดา
Many leaders of different communities in Moray, Ashas, doctors and many staff of the hospital attended the program. Many well-known personalities spoke about dengue disease on the occasion. The 49th BSF Battalion Moirangpural along with the residents of the area cleaned the surroundings of Furamakong Market under Swas Bharat Mission. A 43-year-old man by the name of Lekkomang, aged 43, from Tolan village, Churachanpur, who has been undergoing treatment at Janams for his inability to walk on his right foot, has been recovered completely. Lekkomang expressed happiness over rendering him free medical treatment by Janams. And now the headlines once again. Chief Minister N. Biren inaugurates 5-day Siri Lili Festival. President of MPP and Sovakiran expelled from primary membership of party for good. And some officials suspected of misappropriating revenue in forest department. That's all for today and thanks for being with us.